Hey guys, I got something really cool to share with you today. I've been meaning to share this. If you follow me on Instagram, you've, you've seen it already, but I wanted to share it here, so here it is. I finally got another one. Uh, I'll have to give a backstory to this in a minute, but this is a very rare and very special coin that I discovered. And in fact, it is still to this day listed in Krauss as reported, but not confirmed. Here's the confirmation. Some years back, while working the Moosey River with my friends in Palembang, I found a 1730 8 rails Assair F over G. It was the very first silver rail ever found with Assair F over G. And I was the one that found it. And I was ecstatic, maybe too ecstatic. And it was stolen by this little butthole named Agito. He thought it was worth like five grand and just stole the coin. It was a beautiful specimen. Luckily, I was able to take a couple pictures of it, and that's all I was able to get. So I, I do have the pictures, and, but the coin was stolen, and I was bummed about it for years, and I've been searching for another one, and this coin came out of the Moosey River, and I finally got it. I'm just so, so stoked, because like most numistatists, researchers, etc., when you make a discovery, you want to have a coin to complement that discovery, and this was that. Uh... I discovered the very first uh, 1729 Assair R over D, which at the time confirmed that Assair D did indeed mint coins until 1729, which was later uh, confirmed uh, with a 1729 D. Um, and this coin, of course, as far as I know, was the first one that at least within the numismatic community in Spanish colonial cops slash Macaquinas um, was the first one that I was able to share and people were able to go, oh, well, let me go check my 1730F and see if it's an F over G because it totally does exist. So 1730F on its own is very rare. And let me explain why before we get to the overdate. So at the very beginning of 1730, Assayer R was the working Assayer. That was Jose de Rivas Angulo. And he worked for the majority of 1730. So the majority of 1730 uh, Mexico City Cobb coinage that you're going to see are going to be Assayer R. Now his cousin, who was uh, Diego Gonzalez de la Cueva, which I think means cave, right? Cueva? Yeah, cave. His Assayer mark was G for the Gonzalez part of his name. He worked for basically the remainder of 1730, and at the very end of that year, Francisco de la Pina y Flores stepped in as Assayer and worked uh, as the as the Assayer from 1730 to 1733, and then with the changeover to the joint Assayer system at Mexico City, went on to work with Manuel de Leon as Assayers M and F, which you see on the pillar dollar coinage. And I used to argue that this Assayer F was the same as in the MF on the uh, clip coinage, cortadas, and the columnarios or, or pillar dollars, simply because assayers were not allowed to use the same mark back to back. So, anyway, the, the amount of coins that were struck by Assayer F in 1730 are very, 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 very few. And, of course, he did not um, produce a lot of coinage in gold or silver cob coinage, especially gold. Like, the gold's really rare, and all the gold coins I've actually seen of F 
are all overdates. They're overdates and over ass airs. But the 1730, man, that, that one is so tough. So I have a loop here and I'm going to show you this ass air because it's kind of hard to see. So if you've got a 1730 ass air F, grab it, get your loop, and I'm going to show you what to look for. Now I do want to note that a 1731 over O, F over G also exists. Um, that one's slightly more common. This one is, is the one that's rare, and this is the one you want to be looking for. As well, there's actually, as I was trying to find another specimen for, of this coin, I came across an F over G over R. So that also exists in the eight reals. And I have that coin, and I'm going to do another video, a separate video on that. So what we're looking at here is the assayer mark F, and if we go to the left of the F, we can see a little loop right there, and that is the back side of the G. You can see that little loop. It runs right into the border there. Now if we go to the right of the F and kind of go down, <clears throat> excuse me, towards the foot, and then just above it, we can see the bottom part of that G sticking out, which is that little, like, serif right there. And there you go. I mean, S A R F over G. It's very, very sharp. It's distinct. There's no misidentifying it. This is a rare coin. So, I mean, yeah, man, it's just, it's a period that I think is, is really attractive. Yeah, a little more common for 1732. 1733 is a pretty scarce date. 1731 is a little scarcer. 1730, though, S A R F is really, really hard. In fact, even 1730G is a really hard uh, assay and date to come across, especially in the half reals. Now they do exist. It's been debated for a long time whether or not they exist, but they do absolutely exist and they're extremely rare. Extremely rare. So if you have a 1730G half real, that is a rare coin and I would like to see it. If you got it, send me a photograph, especially if it's not a Galano, the round royal coinage. If it's just your standard circulation cob coinage strike, I would love to see it. If you find in your collection a 1730 Assayer F over G, or even F over G over R, I would love to see a picture of that too. Um, so yeah, this is it. Um, very, very happy I finally was able to get another one. And, and again, it's from the exact same source. This came from the Muzi River Shipwreck Hoard. I'm going to do a video explaining what that wreck technically and actually is. Because there's a lot of people that keep asking me about it. It's not a shipwreck in the standard sense of like a ship hit a reef and sunk. It was purposely sunk. So there's an interesting story behind it. And that's why there's all these coins that are found in this spot right outside Kudo Besek. Uh, anyway. That's where this coin comes from, and the very first one of these uh, came from that source as well. And then my 1730 F over G over R came from the 1733 fleet. I've never seen another one of those, but they, they certainly exist, so it's something you, I would say you definitely want to be looking for. Some of these over ass airs and dates are rare, and they're just a great coin to have in your collection. So, beautiful coin. Um, this is one of those coins where it's like, I'm starting this new business, and I kind of want to sell it because I know I can get a certain amount of money for it and help this new business. At the same time, it's like I can't let it go. But I'm going to let go of this, the F over G over R, I think. But I'm keeping this one, I think, for now. So, yeah. If you got one, send me uh, an email. Uh, it's oshacoin at gmail.com. I'd really like to see it. And, of course, if you got any questions, uh, send me an email. Uh, or check out the uh, Instagram page. It's just uh, Plus Ultra Coins. On Instagram, you can use the hashtag Plus Ultra Coins and find me pretty easily. Um, I will help you identify your coin, but please don't ask me what the price is. I'm not going to help you resell it. I just don't do that. So, yeah, that's it. And if, you have, if you're looking for, through your coins right now for one of these, good luck. <laughs>